The first grad at grad value is open to growth. When one is open to growth, the graduate is open to a variety of experiences and continues to develop the range of his imaginative sensibilities, is becoming more flexible and open to consider other points of view, and is beginning to seek new experiences, even if there is a risk or possibility of failure. Shortly after his election, Pope Francis, the first Jesuit Pope, changed up the bureaucracy in the Vatican. Eight cardinals from across the globe were appointed by Pope Francis to create a new advisory panel. This major change in the way the Vatican will work has proven that Pope Francis is not afraid of change if it will work towards the betterment of society, whether it be the Society of Jesus or the Global Society. As a young man, Pope Francis had a soft spot for creative writing. Later on in his life, however, he realized his forte was in the field of chemistry. He attended the University of Buenos Aires and received a chemical technician's diploma. Chemistry is one of the most vigorous classes offered in his university, but his hard work paid off. The Jesuit order has a very high respect for education and values it greatly. The work he did then and the work he does now within the confines of the Vatican demonstrate Pope Francis's intellectual competence. Pope Francis has given Jesuits around the world a sense of commitment to their vocation. They feel more comfortable speaking their mind. He gave way to a new wave of young men eager to answer God's call and seek a Jesuit vocation. He has given everyone new ways to connect with God. Most people might say, well, what else do you think a Pope does? I say it's not only that. The job of the Pope is not just to call Christians to God, but to offer Christianity as an option to the world. Just last Tuesday, Pope Francis received an audience and said to them, Faith is not just a cultural inheritance. Pope Francis says to be open to both Christians and non-Christians alike, to expose them to the true faith. Being loving according to the grad at grad means that you're able, capable, and willing to put yourself in someone else's place and move past self-centeredness and self-interest. By putting yourself in someone else's place, you are finding their mystery and cherishing it. Pope Francis meets new people every day with different mysteries. He puts himself in their place and finds their mystery and cherishes it, whether it is sickness or not. Pope Francis exemplifies the qualities of committed to doing justice. During the first year of his pontificate, Pope Francis has asked practicing Catholics to come to know the grace they have been bestowed and take responsibility for assisting others experience the same grace, especially the sick, the poor, and others left on the margins of society. Through his example, Pope Francis shows how he has been exposed to the needs of the disadvantaged by doing community service and helping people with numerous disabilities and injuries, thus doing justice for others in need. Pope Francis encourages us to actively connect faith with justice.